Welcome to our latest YouTube tutorial. My name is Rick, and I'm welcoming you on behalf of the Paper Office Academy. The simple settings explained in this video will enable you to, among other things, automatically archive paper documents directly from your scanner, assign tasks to employees directly at the scanner, initiate workflows for employees directly from the scanner, search through all paper documents Google-like, thanks to OCR text recognition, before we continue, we'd like to encourage you to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Your interaction on YouTube helps us to be rated higher. Following us is definitely worth it. Thank you very much. Wouldn't you also like to digitize all paper documents directly from your existing copier or scanner, make them completely searchable and assign tasks or, for example, workflows? All you need is your copier and paper office. In just a few steps, we will show you the guaranteed best and most proven solution, because today's workshop is about how you can digitize incoming documents in no time, thanks to your existing scanner and the use of PaperOffice DMS, and thus lay the foundation for accelerated document and business processes, and also GOBD and GDPR compliant if you need this. Scanning paper documents, regardless of whether they are invoices, delivery notes, or other supporting documents, is a necessary step in processing incoming mail in the company. The whole process, from copier to digital storage, is very easy to explain. Shortcut keys, or also so-called one-touch keys, are defined on your scanner, such as Mr. Mills, Approval Required, or Accounting, To Do. As soon as this shortcut key has been selected and then scanned, the scanner saves the scanned document as a PDF in a previously defined folder in the network. This folder, in turn, is monitored by PaperOffice. That is, as soon as something is saved in this folder, PaperOffice will execute your previously defined rules and automatically save the document. PaperOffice will then start the background processing as usual and create preview images and OCR text recognition. To demonstrate this well-proven procedure, we have set up a sample folder structure in PaperOffice. In the current video, you can see that a folder structure has been created under Common PaperOffice Documents. General, non-employee related documents are archived in the General Tray folder. Documents that are assigned to accounting after the scan process are archived in the Accounting folder and then accordingly under Invoices or in General. A subfolder, To Do, has also been created under the Invoices folder. All documents that are saved in this subfolder automatically receive a status entry, To Do. Folders with the names of the employees have been created below. These contain subfolders General, Email, as well as To Do, and Approval Required. Extended storage options, rule assignments, were explicitly defined for the folders To Do and Approval Required. A status entry is automatically set for to do, as is the case with the invoices folder, and a workflow is assigned for approval required. I have already set up the aforementioned directory monitoring. How this works is already explained in detail in another workshop. I add the link to the description text. Depending on the device manufacturer, the shortcut keys can be created in different ways. For the most part, this process is carried out via the web interface by entering the IP address of the device in the browser. You create profiles with the definition of the network path for storing the documents. These profiles, or so-called shortcut keys, then appear on the display of your scanner. Place the document to be scanned in your scanner and press a corresponding shortcut key on your scanner display. For example, Accounting, To Do, and then Start. After processing the start of your scan, your scanner begins reading the document and then saves it in the specified network folder. This network folder is also monitored by PaperOffice. After the directory monitoring of PaperOffice takes effect, the scanned documents are processed, preview images are created, text recognition is carried out, and document data is read out. The predefined rule assignment is carried out and the previously scanned document is stored in the appropriate folder, which is also assigned a status entry at the same time. The Accounting Department sees immediately when a new document has been added by appearing in the predefined folder 
but also by setting the status entry to do. Calling up the advanced search also enables a quick overview of all documents that have this status entry. Thanks to the easy scanner integrity and rule assignment, you can not only assign entire departments, but also explicitly individual employees, workflows, or release orders directly from the copier or scanner. Just to Mr. Mills as well, after processing the shortcut key on the scanner and then scanning the document, it immediately appears in Paper Office in the predefined folder. This document is automatically assigned a release assignment. With a click on the document entry, the workflow control window is opened and Mr. Mills can release the document immediately. His work colleagues are informed about the release at the same time. By the way, our YouTube channel already contains detailed workshops on the subject of workflows and work assignment. You can call up the direct link from the description text. This concludes our current workshop. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and bye.